Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Digi and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the upgraded Titan Pumpkin Head. But before I keep going, shout out of the day goes to Legit Legacy. Thank you for being first at commenting first. Alright, so to get started, click start and then head over to a camera team. Or choose a camera person, a speaker person, anyone from the camera squad. But make sure you do not get a titan or someone big because that actually is going to make it a lot more difficult. You've got to go inside the building. Uh, and if this just happens, just reset and then make sure you spawn as close as possible to the camera base. All right, here we are. Wow, I got really nice spot. So here is the camera base and this is where we are going. Now, the reason why I say you've got to choose a camera alliance character is because in order to get into the camera base, you need to be one of them, okay, in order to open the doors. If you don't, then, you know, this is going to be very difficult and you won't be able to continue. So, use anyone. It could be a cameraman. It could be anybody that is part of the camera alliance. So, here we go. Walk inside. You go forward and go to this door, sorry, right here to your left. Go ahead and click on it, beep, beep, and walk down this hallway. Now, this part is good. Go, there's a little bit of walking in this video today, okay? But do not worry. There's nothing really hard about it except maybe uh, levels two and three. There are three levels to this, but they are not hard. Trust me. So right here, you're going to see a ramp and a door. You're going to go up the ramp like so, or just jump up. Completely up to you. Just follow along because there is a specific spot you've got to go to here in the camera base. Then go to your right, and then you're going to see two doors on your left. You're going to see armory, and then you're going to see another one. Go to the second door, all right? Go past armory right before you enter the big room right here. So open up this door, boop, boop. And then you're going to be in like this server room. Go to your left where you see a giant glowing blue screen with a pumpkin. Now, this is where it gets a little difficult. You got to try to get the, see that, the prompt? You can try getting stuck into the wall if you want and doing it. What I suggest is that you just keep jumping and then spam the, the button E or try to click on it. So then you get teleported into pumpkin place level one all right i don't know if this is level one no this is level one all right so really level one is the hardest because it's a maze so let me get out my notes so then i don't get lost so what we've got to do is find a code and this code is random for every server so the numbers i get will not be the same for you so do not copy my code my code will not work for you so you've got to do this part so walk forward and it is slow. You can't sprint. You can't dash or anything. But what we're going to do is start off here. Go to our right. All right. And then you're going to walk forward a bit. And then you're going to see a split. You're going to see left and right. We're going to go to our left right over here. Okay. Then go around the corner like so. You're going to see another left. Take this left right here again. Boom. All right. And then it's going to be a very long hallway. I know it's a, it's a walk-in simulator. But trust me, this upgraded Titan pumpkin head is worth it. It is awesome. And it's free if you think about it. No Robux, no coins, or cash needed. All right. And then right here, you're going to take a right turn. Because either way, it is a dead end if you went to the left. So just go to the right. And then you're going to go over around this corner right here. Boom. And then you're going to come to another split. You got to go left or right. We will go to the right. Okay. And yes, I know I could probably speed this up. But if people who are watching along, this is, you know, probably the best way. So here we go. Going to the right. Then you're going to go down this hallway. And then when you come around the corner, you should see a very long hallway. That means you're on the right track. Boom. Super long hallway. And there should be a right turn to your right. <laughs> That's usually where right turns are. 
<laughs> and you should see it about halfway into walking down this hallway. And there it is. Okay. Then you're going to go over to your right. And there should be no turns. Okay. No turns. No left turns. No right turns. It should all just be a single path. And then leading you to your code. Again, my code will be different. The code is random, scrambled for every server. Now, if you're in a public server, then I believe it should be the same for everybody. So if you're in a public server, you could just ask what the code was. And then this next part I'm going to show you will help you out. All right, so here's my code 7717, and it'll always be four numbers, 7717. All right, there we go. Then reset. I know, you can actually reset. You don't have to walk all the way back. The reason why you want to reset is so that you come back here to the spawn. So here we go. Same spot, same place. The maze does not change. Here we go. So, ba -dee -ba -dee 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 -dee. going to our right again. Here we go. Go to the right then you're gonna to come to a split again left or right this time you're gonna to go to your right instead of to the left okay you might remember we went left this time we're going to the right the reason why is because now we are looking for the exit or the next door out of here then after that right turn we go to our left right here Okay, so right now we're looking for the code or the, the door to put the code in and then that will progress us to the next spot, which is kind of annoying. It's not hard. It just takes a while, kind of like the maze here. It's just the, the thing you have to do takes a long time for it to complete. All right, so here we are. Just keep walking forward until you get to a split here, left or right. You want to go to your left, like so. And then when you take that left turn, you should see, yep, a long hallway with a door at the end with a giant number pad. This is where you will put in the code that you found in the maze. Again, the code is different for every server. Do not copy mine. Unless you're in a public one and everyone knows what the code was, then awesome. But unless otherwise, don't copy my code. It will not help you. Okay. So here is the code door. I'm going to go ahead and put it in. 7717. Enter. Ba Boom. And now it shall take us to level 2. Level 2 is the part that is really annoying. Sometimes it takes it a while to teleport you. Here we go. This gun means nothing. Don't worry about it. But here we go. So you're going to be between two of these towers. And what you got to do is simply bump into these trees. Now watch what happens when I bump into one. Boom. And then they all start to kind of fall down. Yes. So what's happening is the trees are literally all falling down. Now I don't know if you got to bump into some other ones to help it fall faster or if it's just the amount of trees that there are is just lagging the server that you are in. All right. And these are all private servers. Okay. No one else will join you in these. It's just you. But yeah, see how the trees are sort of like bouncing. That just means that they are slowly falling down and despawning. Again, I don't know if bumping into these other trees are helping or what. But you essentially just have to wait till they all disappear because then the core will spawn in somewhere in the world. And you should be able to see it from the towers um, if you want to go up them and look. But it should be relatively nearby. All right. So like I said, it might take a while for the trees to all fall down. But once they clear out, if you're looking at the towers here, you're going to go off to this side. Now, I am not sure if it spawns randomly in different locations, but I'm pretty sure the core spawns in the same spot. Or if not, it's always been there. You just have to clear the trees in order to then progress to the final stage. 
So just clearly walk over there. And like I said, the tree part can be a little annoying because it, it it just feels like nothing's happening, but it is. Trust me. All right, so here we go. Go ahead and teleport to level three, which should be the final location. Sometimes it takes it a while to do it. Let's see. There it goes. All right. Once you're in here, I do recommend turning on shift lock. All right, so right here in the menu, boom. Because then you should be able to use it to see where you need to go in. And what you're looking for is a room that has a light inside of it. And you do not want to open the ones that has the toilet, skibbity toilets in there. Because then you've got to fight them and that is no fun. All right, let's see. Nope, not that one. Whoop, nope, not that one. And careful, sometimes the skibbity toys can hurt you. But once you find the door, it's mine's right here. I don't know if it's random either, but if it isn't, it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten, eleven door on the right. Okay? So you just go down on the right side and number eleven. Use your door opening. Boop, boop. There we go. And right there is going to be a jetpack. Go ahead and get it. And that will give you the upgraded Titan pumpkin head man thing. It is crazy. All right. Let's see where it is. Is it going to be in the toilets or the camera team? I want to say the camera, but I might be wrong. Uh, it's right here. So you can't see it because of my camera. But it is the top left corner. And yeah, that's what I thought, babe. All right, here we are. Upgraded care. Oh, pumpkin man. Yo, what? Look at this behemoth. Yo, I remember pumpkin, Titan pumpkin man. But this, this is something else entirely now. Oh, oh my goodness. It's got a giant pickaxe. So clearly he's got the body of Titan cameraman. All right, let's see. Core Blast. And he's got 25,000 HP. All right, that's a pretty solid Core Blast right there, I have to say. All right, Punch. Stomp. Very nice. Laser Eyes. Oh, there they are. <laughs> that had a little delay there. That's a pretty good range, too. It's not too far, not too close. Double Blasters. Ooh, look at that. Fire. What? Did I miss it? Did I miss it? Oh, there they are. Okay. All right. They're super fast. Back guns. Woo! It looks like they're skipping on the ground like little ricochets. All right. Teleport. Oh, no. Wait. Scythe attack. Oh, that's a scythe. That looks like a giant pickaxe. Also, that's it. That, the scythe attack. Not very low cooldown. It's got a pretty high one for something I would think would be low. All right. Teleport. Where's it going to teleport us? Woo! I'm in the middle of the city. Oh, God. This is not an ideal spot. <laughs> is it always in the same spot, though? I wonder if it, it is. Let's see. Waiting for the cooldown. Uh, wow, this is actually a pretty long cooldown. Dang, it's still waiting. All right, let's see the flying again. Can I do teleporting while flying? Oh, my gosh, I can. Oh, and yes, it is always in the same spot. Okay. Guys, this is crazy. I I did not expect this to come out at all. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe down below, join the Bad Hunting Squad today. Use star code Digi whenever you buy Robux or Premium. And as always, stay awesome, stay cool, and go love badge hunting. Bye-bye.